From Oscar buzz to a new kid on the block, the streaming world is evolving at a rapid pace. I'm RJ Marcus diving into what's now streaming. Frank, it's time. It's time you say what happened. One of the biggest filmmakers of all time, Martin Scorsese, is coming to Netflix with The Irishman. It's a story about some of the mobsters surrounding Jimmy Hoffa, an American labor leader. And it's classically star-studded with Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, and Joe Pesci. I think it is beyond exciting that they're all working together. And from what I understand, the movie is sort of a rumination uh, on aging and on looking back at your life. And so the fact that you know three actors that he's worked with multiple times are in this movie that's sort of about looking back at life, I think is really Fitting. Only three people in the world have one of these, and only one of them is Irish. Before hitting Netflix, a three and a half hour long film hit very select theaters. Washington Post expert Travis Andrews says it's a tactic that could put Scorsese and the gang in the running for an Oscar nomination. They want you to go and watch it on Netflix, right? And they want you to sign up. But at the same time, the Academy wants movies to be in theaters and the filmmakers want their movies to be in theaters. They want them to be seen on the big screen. So Netflix kind of negotiates this deal with certain theater chains. The Irishman is showing at Santico's and Alamo Draft Houses in San Antonio, but hits Netflix on Wednesday. It's been the talk of the streaming world even after a rocky launch. Disney Plus, that's right. It's more than just kid cartoons. Really, I think what you're signing up when you sign up for Disney Plus is to have every Marvel movie and it is to have every Star Wars movie and every Disney movie. Um, you can bundle it with ESPN, so it's to have sports. With everything from nostalgic Disney Channel sitcoms to National Geographic documentaries, one original that stands out for Travis is another glimpse into the Star Wars universe. It's the first live-action Star Wars show that they've ever made, and it's incredible. I highly recommend it if you're at all interested in Star Wars. It, it looks shockingly just like the movies, and this is on television. I think it's the first show I've ever seen that really, truly looks like a feature film. So what are you watching on your streaming devices? Let us know on social media what your favorites are, and don't forget to download the KSAT TV app to find all of our KSAT segments on demand. For The Noon, RJ Marcus, KSAT 12 News.